हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एंड्रॉइड ट्यूटोरियल होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग वेल सारे गाइस आई वाज बीन पुल्ड इनटू पर्सनल वर्क एंड कुड नॉट अपलोड वीडियोस फ्रॉम पास्ट कपल ऑफ मंथ्स सो नाउ वी कम अप विद द अनदर वन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सा हाउ टू रीड और राइट द डेटा इनटू एप स्पेसिफिक इंटरनल स्टोरेज लोकेशन इन अपकमिंग वीडियोस वी विल कवर बिलो टॉपिक्स आई विल टेल यू व्हाट आर दोस first one will talk about uh, uh, external storage second we'll see how to implement about read or write into external storage then we will cover internal or external cache data so here we will see how to read or write into cache in this video now uh, we'll talk about a uh, first point uh, which is external storage how to read from or write into external storage in the android system generally for app specific data we use internal storage because that is safe and no dependency on external storage location generally for app specific data we use internal storage because that is safe and no dependency on external location hope you are understanding suppose you don't have enough space internally and you need to do some operation or read or write then you go for external storage because you want to uh, save something in the uh, storage which is related to app so obviously we have to choose the external storage in external storage we have two distinct locations one for storing persistent files and another location for storing cache data so two distinct locations one for storing persistent files another for storing cache data okay then uh, in android 4.4 or higher does not need to request any permissions to access its own app external storage location data stored under external location can be accessed accessed by another app if that app has a proper storage permission so that means we should have the proper permission to access the data which is stored externally in the, for uh, that is related to another app for example app 1 has stored data into external storage volume app 2 want to access that data app 2 should have the proper storage permission to access that app one data which is stored externally <coughs> in the later days to give user more control on their files stored under external storage android introduced scoped storage or scoped access by default scoped access will be given if the scoped access is enabled then apps cannot access app specific directories that belong to other apps so we got new terminology scoped access or scoped storage by default it will be enabled then 
we cannot access other app specific data stored externally generally uh, when we uninstall the app the data stored under these directories will be removed this is general so everyone will be knowing this when we uninstall data stored in the external location will be removed even the same case when we store the data internally files stored under these directories are not guaranteed to be accessible such as uh, when when a removable SD card taken out of the device so what we can do so we don't have the data stored in that SD card uh, when the app trying to access the data we cannot access that because we don't have that SD card mounted in the device so uh, we have to do some uh, pre-check when we are going to do some operation externally so we have couple of APIs to check these conditions uh, we'll see what are those <coughs> before that uh, we have one more point uh, so till now we are talking about externally stored storage location or externally storage volume so don't get confused by the word external why because we can partition the internal storage and make it external this is not removable that means we can have the external storage volume internally also that will act as a uh, external storage location here couple of important things to be noted down before actually dealing with external storage volume one is I said uh, we have to do some pre-check before doing pre-check before doing any read or write what are those check Let's see we have to check whether the external storage volume is available or not check external storage volume is available for write or only read second is select the physical location so as I said previously so now we can partition our uh, internal system and treat it as external storage right so we got one more location this is the first one and the second one is SD card and we can have the uh, USB external storage also so we will be having multiple uh, physical locations so we have to select the first the uh, where do you want to store the data then we can uh, do the uh, write or read from that location so we have the api for that also now we will see the api details for these two uh, pre-checks okay first we have to check whether it is uh, writable or uh, only readable for that we have uh, get external storage state environment dot get external storage state this will return media mounted or media mounted read only if this method returns media mounted so that means we can do write or read if the method returns media mounted read only then we can do only read we cannot do write this is the first condition second condition is uh, selecting the physical location for that we have uh, get external files directories context 
compact dot get external file directory for this we have to pass the context one is get application context So this will return the array of file external storage volumes always zeroth index will be the primary external storage volume always zeroth index will have the primary external storage reference so here one important thing is if you are using android 4.3 or lower then the array contains one element which represents the primary external storage volume next access persistent files using this reference using this external storage volume of zero what you can do is if you do like this you will get the uh, primary external storage reference once we get that reference we can do a uh, read or write these operations we will see in the next video how to implement until that uh, go through the previous videos and stay tuned for the next video don't forget to subscribe like share and finally click on the bell icon thank you all bye for now